In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A hearty welcome to each one of you, my dear sisters, my dear brothers, little sisters, fathers, families, and children in a particular way. Today being Saturday, we want to pray for the, your intentions, and there are a number of intentions over here, uh, 26. Please pray for my daughter waiting for a renewal of the USA visa. For my son-in-law and daughter waiting for their work contract. I'm offering, I want to pray in thanksgiving for the repossession of our re redeveloped society and flat after five years. 10th death anniversary of my mother on 13th of March. My 70th birthday of my mother on the 13th of March. Pray for the soul of so and so who died on the 3rd of October 2020. For my Neighbor undergoing dialysis and has gallbladder stones. My daughter find a suitable house in Canada. My son due for a promotion, his job, good health. Safe delivery of my daughter. Thanksgiving because she delivered two twin babies. Praying for all those who are helping for this mass because they sing so well the technicians who helped so much. Man age 70 having prostate cancer. Mum celebrating her 65th birthday next Thursday. Soul of my grandfather, my papa, mum's dad, mom, whose birthday is on the 17th of March. Pray for my soul of my great aunt, Month's mine on the 18th of March. Pray for my father having memory problems. Reconciliation, my son's marriage, new job for him. Pray for my successful cataract operation. I'm thanksgiving to God. I'm free from cancer. After my PET scan, no cells. Thank you, God. Thank you for curing my newborn granddaughter from dehydration, liver failure, high sodium content. Safe return of my son from a ship. Gift of a child to my son and daughter-in-law. Married for nine years. My mother, who is age-related, macular degeneration, problem in the vision. Thanksgiving to God for helping 
Second time, my son in the interview. Thank you for all the kindness. Cure from acute lower back pain. Praying for successful surgery and speedy recovery. Thanksgiving of recovery from bladder cancer. Pray for the preliminary exams going on. Pray for the souls of several. First anniversary of the Bishop Emeritus Bishop of Pune. And there are several others mentioned here. Mr. and Mrs. Fernandez, De Souza, Mr. and Mrs. Fonseca, Lobo, Pereira, again, Mrs. Lobo. Fervent prayers for healing and good health. Court case on the 9th of March in Delhi. Third at death anniversary on the 12th of March. Bless me with health, my sons and grandchildren. Pray for a ca caring, trustworthy, responsible, full-time live-in help for my two-year-old daughter. Suitable job, a good employer. Thanksgiving for the good health of my father on the 80th birthday, 14th of March. Month's mind for my mother, 13th of March. Soul of our so-and-so, first year remembrance on the 17th of March. For these and all the petitions that many of you have, we pray with affection, with solidarity and with faith. And now we ask God's pardon saying, I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have grievously sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who grant us by glorious healing, remedies while still on earth, to be partakers of the things of heaven, guide us, we pray, through this present life, and bring us to that light in which you dwell. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please sit for the reading. A reading from the prophet Hosea. Come, let us return to the Lord, for he has torn us that he may heal us. He has struck us down and he will bind us up. After two days, he will revive us. On the third day, he will raise us up that we may live before him. Let us know, let us press on to know the Lord. His going out is sure as the dawn. He will come to us as the showers as the spring rains that water the earth. What shall I do with you, O Ephraim? What shall I do with you, O Judah? Your love is like a morning cloud, like the dew that goes early away. Therefore, I have hewn them by the prophets, I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and my judgment goes forth as the light. For I desire steadfast love and not sacrifice the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our response shall be, I desire steadfast love and not sacrifice. Can you repeat? I desire steadfast love and not sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your merciful love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash me completely from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Our response, I desire steadfast love and not sacrifice. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offerings from me would not please you. 
my sacrifice to God, a broken spirit, a broken and humble heart, O God, you will not spurn. Our response, I desire steadfast love and not sacrifice. In your good pleasure, show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in right sacrifice, burnt offerings wholly consumed. Our response, I desire steadfast love and not sacrifice. Kindly stand as we prepare hearts for the gospel. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. O that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. Two men went up into the temple to pray one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, prayed thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector standing far off would not lift up his eyes even to heaven, but beat his breast saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled. The one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My sisters and brothers, we continue our journey in the desert with Jesus, accompanying him as he has spent 40 days in preparation for his mission. We continue our journey also in these 40 days, which we are coming now to the end of the third week of Lent, and we've just got another three weeks, right? I was saying the other day, we were in the midpoint of our Lenten retreat. And we heard the responsorial psalm, and we said in the responsorial psalm also, I desire steadfast love and not sacrifice. This is what God wants of us. Love, not sacrifice. A change of heart, not an external rite of purification. In the Old Testament, there were often animal sacrifices, and we know what was, it was a, if they were poor, turtle doves, if they were richer, they would have lambs or goats, and then even richer, they would have oxen. And these were offered up in the temple. And uh, in the temple, people would come to pray. Generally, the more devout would come twice or thrice a day, at 9 in the morning, 12 noon, 3 in the afternoon, when there was a big crowd collected. And uh, they would pray to God, and it was thought that prayers in the temple were more uh, acceptable to God. We know now, after Jesus came, what's important really is raising the heart and mind to God, not these external uh, rites, even making novenas, even attending a mass. It's helpful. Receiving sacrament really brings graces. But what's the core of our sanctification is changing our heart. What was said in our responsorial psalm is, was from the very last words of the first reading. I desire steadfast love, not sacrifice. The knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. This was from the prophet Hosea. 
the whole first reading is a call from the, of the people to turn to God. Let us turn to the Lord, for he has torn us that he might heal us. This is the time of turning to God, of praying to God. And Jesus shows us how we should pray in the gospel. This is the parable he gives of the Pharisee and the publican. And there's even, the evangelist Luke gives us even a commentary that Jesus told this parable to those who trusted themselves and were righteous and having contempt for others. The first man, the Pharisee, was praying right there, in this right in front, perhaps loudly thanking God. Uh, he was really not praying to God. He was praying about himself, trying to see himself as a somebody successful, somebody close to God. There was no intention of a heart turning towards God. It was done to show. Whereas the publican would not even lift up his eyes, Jesus says, sat in the corner and he said, Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Conscious of his sinfulness, asking for God's mercy, placing himself over there as a recipient of God's mercy, which is God wa what God wants of us this Lent as we come closer and closer to him, to be conscious of our sinfulness. The question is, to what do we compare ourselves? Even the saints would always say a sinner. Pope Francis, on several occasions, when asked, how will you identify yourself? What is your greatest attribute? And he would say, I am a sinner. We've heard this also, brothers and sisters, from the voice of, or the words of many saints. And we realize that they were saying this sincerely. They couldn't be saints telling us just to show off. Uh, they were saying it because they really felt this, because the comparison was God. Put themselves next to God and they would realize how imperfect they were. How much they had to do to come closer to the Lord. And you and I are called to put our lives again today, to examine our lives, to, to see where our sinfulness is. Have, are we holy enough? Are we prayerful enough? Are we close to the Lord? What holds us? Are we proud or are we humble? We heard the last words. Everyone who exalts himself will be humbled. Everyone who humbles himself will be exalted. Which category do we fall? Sisters and brothers, let us with deep humility ask the Lord to have mercy on us, a sinner. The monks at that prayer time often would repeat the same passage. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. They would repeat this over and over again unless it became, until it became part of their psyche. Let's do the same, conscious of our weakness, of our need for God's mercy. God bless you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness for this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in his divinity himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness with this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased, receive the sacrifice which we offer you, 
with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through these sacred gifts we pray, O Lord, may our redemption yield its fruits, restraining us from unruly desires and leading us onward to the gifts of salvation. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to things that eternally endure. So with all the angels and saints, we praise you. Without end, we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, savers, savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, if we may merit to be cursed with eternal life, praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, to you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence of the Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, May be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. It's off with a sign of peace. Christ, peace. You take me. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter to my roof. You only say the word, my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. May your divine sacrament, O Lord, which we have received, fill the inner depths of our heart, and by its working mightily within us, make us partakers of its grace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Special prayer. May the years of your mercy be open, O Lord, to the prayers of those who call upon you, that, that you may grant what they desire, have them ask what is pleasing to you. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you very much for participating tomorrow's Sunday. And uh, I want to tell you that uh, one week you'll get good preachers. The, uh, all my bishops will be preaching. I'm going, in, I'm going for a retreat, making my own retreat uh, next week. So excuse me. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. And uh, I'll see you after a week back on Monday. God bless you. Keep well and come closer to the Lord. Continue your retreat. We'll, I'm making my retreat. We'll make it together. God bless. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that the vaccine be available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. my soul